Hello everybody, this is CSY coming at you with Medieval Engineers, Minity Edition. Uh, yeah, this game, I've played it before, it's awesome as heck. Never did make a series on it or anything. Um, we, we, we're gonna play it a little bit. Might be some long episodes, cause, uh, this game is mostly about building. I mean, there's survival and stuff, but, uh, you gotta learn the knowledge and all that. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta get knowledge. You gotta learn how to build some things to open them up to unlock things. Um, it's a it's a great game. It's a great game. It's we're doing it all single player, so it's gonna be like I said, mostly building. Uh, you won't be seeing any of this stuff you're seeing on screen right now, probably. But it is pretty cool what you can do with it. Um, the building's gonna be fun as heck, guys. So without further ado, let's uh, start a new world now. I already set up some settings for. Uh, this one over here, but we're gonna well, let's just do some customized world here. We're gonna go wild start survival, five minute auto save. We're gonna go offline. Uh, let's look at the mods. I have a ton of mods. Um, I'm just gonna throw them all in there, guys. If you want to pause, you can read here. I'm just gonna scroll down slowly. Sweet. So I'm just going to add them all, and then I'm going to take this one out. Oh, this one that's red. This one's not going to work. It, it's showing it's not compatible with this version, so we're not even going to try to load that. So, uh, and you can browse the workshop from here to add more if you want. But uh, most of it, most of it's like more furnishing, decoration. Um, this sawmill is a, a one added that a new item. So yeah, there's some cool stuff and some little bit cheaty stuff like the fast gather. But uh, that'll help us get along pretty quick. So that's good. So we'll say OK there and let's go to advanced settings here. Inventory size. I'm going to make this three times larger than normal. I could change all this stuff if I want to as well, I think. Uh, maybe even in game or well, no, you have to come to the you have to come to the main menu, but I think I can load this stuff, change it. Uh, maximum backup saves, we won't change, say, show player names, day duration, yeah, we can leave these all the same. Max objects, uh, structural integrity, definitely. Ruin decay, we'll turn that off. The AI um, is hostile and annoying, <laughs> but we're going to let it in, we're going to leave it in. Uh, I debated of turning it off to begin with for a while, because of the... Um, because of how annoying they are and how hard it was. But uh, I, I kind of jumped into this and played a little bit already. And you just got to learn how to block. That's kind of the key. Otherwise, they'll kill you pretty quick to begin with. Uh, travel limitations, I'm going to turn off as well. So we could travel, fast travel wherever we want instead of just uh, small, just to the roads or whatever. So we're good there. So uh, that's good. And let's get going. Okay, so you already completed the tutorial before, or set the setting to ask before starting. Do you want to start? Yes, we want to see the tutorial again. Definitely. Sweet! So, I don't know if this hasn't loaded in, or if we are actually right next to a prairie. <laughs> Which is, might be kind of cool. We can gather a few things. Where are we? Let's do this. There we, there we are. Here's a road. Um, so here's the map. It's pretty cool. It's showing us we're in this section, so we can see it overall. We're way over here. I kind of want to be... I guess it doesn't necessarily matter. We could try it down here. But I'd like to be... I want to be near some stone. Um, even up here, maybe, but... Um, something close to a road, possibly. Let's see. Let's see. Let's double-click that. Something like this. Possibly. I don't know if it's better to be towards the northern hemisphere or the southern hemisphere or right in the middle. Uh, the sun, for reasons. I don't know. You could have changed that direction in the advanced settings, but I have no idea what uh, would have been the right angle. <laughs> but either way, so we might make our way up here. We'll fast travel, but to fast travel, let's watch this. Let's see. 
Double click and it says if you want to fast travel, cost of one food. You currently have 98, so we're not going to do that just yet. And that's showing basically your food that. Oops. What I push? Oh, I pushed. Okay. I need to change my mouse settings back. That gets rid of the HUD. It's kind of cool. Um, and then you can go V for first person and third person, which is really cool. But uh, let's get to it. Let's just kind of walk. I'm thinking. Let's see. Oh, we got to see where we're at, not where. So we're down here. What about. It's kind of let's let's go through. Let's just walk around. We gotta gather some things. So, F to gather the bush. I need to change my mouse settings here. Put my side buttons as the uh, as F, but right now it's set as E for another game. So, <laughs> um, so some of these small trees and such, you can you can gather them all the way down. These bushes, you can gather them and then grab these roots. The roots are used for. Uh, for food, believe it or not. And we can also gather this. This is a uh, flax. Flax is pretty important. Oh my god, look at this tree. It's so gorgeous. This is awesome, guys. They let me explain a little bit about the community edition. The the last version, I think, that uh is it Keen Software House, they're the ones who made the game, was point uh oh seven, I believe. What are we in right now? So yeah, we're in point Point, not point oh seven, but point seven. We're in point seven three. So they put it out, and they they decided they're finally going to be done with uh, developing this game. So they basically gave it up, and the modders talked to them. How come I can't gather this? Ah, oh, I had it for a second there. There we go. Some modders, uh, a couple of modders, I don't know their name exactly, but uh, asked if they wouldn't mind if giving up the source code and allowing them to fix some bugs and uh, further further continue the game and uh, they decided to allow that to happen and they're actually helping them out a little bit so it's pretty awesome pretty awesome right now it's mainly they're just mainly doing bug fixes which is awesome but I wanted to get in here and check it out again because I enjoyed the heck out of building in this game so we got, is that, tell me that's not a barbarian over there. Dude, if we got a barbarian already. I'm hoping that's just an animal. I think it is. I wanted to run across this prairie because I wanted to grab. There are certain things like flax and stuff which kind of hang out here. The herbs. And like I said, I'd like to grab the roots, but if you don't grab the root, the stuff will grow back. So if you're going to live in this area, it'd be wise to just leave it so that it can go back. At least early game, so you can start growing it yourself. But uh, I know it has a tutorial up here started, but I, I'm just gathering stuff and kind of walking. Ooh. And we're going to have to actually... Come on. There we go. F. We're going to have to actually make some food, guys. So I kind of wanted to see what this looked like over here, too. Is there a road this way? Yeah, there's a road right there. Hmm. Sweet. All right, so let's uh let's kind of see. Whoa! I thought there was someone behind me. Get the crap out of me. Oh, that's what I wanted. Some wheat. Ah, oh, it's growing though. Okay. That was not good. That's still growing. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Let's uh let's do the let's do the tutorial here. We need to get an axe. Welcome. Start by making a stone axe. Obtain three sticks. Obtain one small stone, which I have not been really looking for. I haven't seen them, but I haven't really been looking for them either. There should be some stone right in here somewhere. Should be easy to spot too. Um, hmm. There we go. Oh, look, it even put a little hand symbol on it. <laughs> Oops. Excuse me for my mouse flopping around a little bit there. Alright, we'll gather these mushrooms as well. Alright, so we got our one stone, and it wants us to access the crafting screen. It's I. So, we're gonna make a stone axe. Craft it. 
shows you here what you can use to make it. These can, these are considered sticks as well, like the branches and stuff we grabbed. So we'll take that. Yep, number one's fine. Oh, this is cool. You got multiple heart hot uh, heart hot bars, um, and you do those. You can move them by the arrows on your not the not the up down left and right arrows, but the uh, like bracket arrows next to your M on your keyboard. Well, you can't do it right here. It's doing search, but <laughs> but right here, see, it says two, three. Look down at that bottom left of the left of the hot bar down there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine different hot bars you can have. So if you're building something, you can really load those up. It's kind of neat, kind of neat. But I do want to go back in here because I want to make as many salads as I can. I'm just double clicking, or you can come over here and craft. Um, because we need some food. We're gonna need some food. Our green bar up in the top right left is kind of going low. Alright, so... We got the stone axe. Now it says, uh... Follow the pickaxe marker on the compass. Find... Find a marked ore vein. But... It, wait a minute. <laughs> pickaxe? On the compass. Okay. Let's go this way. Oh, I should have grabbed those berries. That's okay. So we're going to go try and find an ore vein here. And it's probably going to be copper. Or it might be tin. I'm not sure. I'm just going to gather things on the way. Sticks are... Oh, come on. <laughs> Sometimes you got to be a little precise or be a little further away. Sometimes third person helps a little bit too. See how it is? Able to highlight it a little better in third person. Go grab these uh, stones as well. And those. Yeah, I gotta change my mouse back. My mouse settings here. Alright, so let's find this thing. Here we are. Copper, baby. Big one, too. Oh, look. We can grab these from the. I forgot about the ones that stand on the. They're sitting on top. Grab them. There might be more around here. There's one right there. Sometimes there's one, some around it a little bit. It used to be. <laughs> right, so we got here. It wants us to equip the stone axe. Right, it says, press I to add your stone axe to the toolbar, which you already did, and equip it. Use left click to swing it. Obtain two logs. Right. It wanted us to find this and probably gather that stuff. I don't know. So now that we know where it's at, probably need to gather some of it. So I need to make me a pickaxe or something. Let's take this tree. I don't know if that's working because it's bush. There we go. There we go. That bush was highlighted. Oh. And I know the trees used to kill you. <laughs> it used to fling and fall on you and kill you. You got to be careful. So let's go back to first person. These trees are awesome. Look how they break apart. Ah, let's grab that. These oak trees are cool. Great addition to the game. And you got to break them. You quarter them. Kind of neat. A little different than the other round trees. Break into different parts. These parts falling off of it over there. Let's get this out of the way. Nice. All right, let's gather some of those out of there. Chunks falling off. Love it. Ah. So it's kind of a chill game. Uh, it's not, you know, it's not seven days of that where you got lots of zombies coming after you. Lots of enemy, which is cool. The, uh, the barbarians could be a little annoying, but uh, at least early on until you get, till you get us a sword or something. All right, so let's gather. So we get, you also get some branches and stuff, which are kind of cool. That's another thing that I didn't notice before, but I just noticed kind of playing with it. Uh, in your inventory, when you learn together to create seeds, I don't think it's going to show in the inventory right now or in the crafting. No, 
But you could craft seeds for these trees as well and replant them. Very cool, right? I don't know that I'm going to be living right here, so I don't think... Alright, anyways, craft the crafting table. Okay. So, we got all our logs in our inventory. We got a good size inventory. Uh, but we could turn those logs... Let's see, it wants a crafting table. Alright, so let's craft that. Uh, oh, it's full. We gotta get all these out of there. There we go. So, we get a crafting table, and then we can craft... Some, um, I want to see what it tells us to do. Take the crafting table from the queue, equip it in their toolbar. Uh, see the journal for rotation and distance controls. Let's look at that real quick. Ah, uh, this is showing us. It was showing everything we've done. Okay, crafting table. Here's the controls. Q or E to rotate. R or shift R to roll. Y or shift Y to roll away. So this is left and right roll. Uh, away and forward roll. Cool. Control plus wheel up and control plus wheel down to change the distance. Uh, and then let's place it. It wants us to place it. So let's get to the inventory. Oh, we gotta take it out of there. Nice, it put it down. Number three. So number three, control plus control hand wheel to move it towards us. Okay, and then it was Q and E to rotate. R oh look at that. There's the roll. Oh that's awesome. Shift R to roll it back. That was Q, uh He was rotate. Uh, how did I roll it forward and back? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> oh, crap. Uh, J, come on. Let's go back here. Roll Y. R and Y. There we go. So we're just gonna... We're, not, we're just gonna set this right here. Well, we can pick it back up. There we go. Alright, move a log to the crafting inventory to enable the timber crafting recipe. Press F while we mate looking at the crap. Okay. Good tutorial. Good tutorial. Um, oh, he's gotta go. Uh so it wants us to what? It says to put it said to put a log in the inventory, but it doesn't work that way anymore. It takes it from our inventory. So, um back up. Yeah, move a log to the crafting inventory. There's no inventory in there. That kind of confused me when I started playing again. Uh, craft two timbers. Timbers, oops. Uh, F. Scrolls, find timbers. He wants us to craft two, but I'm going to craft more than that. Plus, the mod gives us ten instead of five. We're going to need these timbers. So, we're definitely making them. Alright. Now what? Plus symbol on the timber icon indicates that it has variants. Press J to learn more. Uh, access the crafting table and use timbers to complete your task. What's my task? Oh, that will do it. That will just complete it. And use timbers to complete Oh, craft a bed. Gotcha. Alright, so what they were saying about the timbers, let's, let me show you. If we go down... Bring a timber down to number seven. See how on the ink icon down there? It shows them different sizes. So I can look at this timber. Uh, you can see the highlight of it here. You know what? Here, let's bring it to us. And see how it's changing. And then the name over there changes to timber nine. Kind of hard to see. There we go. But it's changing the. Oh, why is it rotating it? It's because I moved. But it's changing the size of it. So you can change it all the way down to a 1 to 10, which is a full size. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, let's, uh, let's go back to 1. Let's go F. And it wants us to make a bed. So we needed two timbers to make the bed. Sweet. Okay. Move the bed to your personal inventory so that you can equip it. 
Uh, let's see, if you make a mistake when you place the bed, you can aim at it and hold F to pick it up again. Same with this, I can hold F and it'll pick up. Uh, so four, spin it back this way, let's just put it right there. Press F while aiming at the top of the bed to claim it. F to claim. So I do have the mod where you can sleep through the night on here. And uh, that's one of the mods that, eh, you know, sometimes we're going to work in the night. Sometimes we might sleep. Depends. I kind of do that so that we get light, but sometimes it's nice. You can build torches and stuff, and it looks nicer, you know? Uh, so spring cleaning. Small chests can be crafted in a crafting table. So let's do that. That's a small chest. Alrighty. Small chest. One of those. It's already unlocked a small stockpile for lumber. I'm sure that's going to want us to make that. Alright, chests are versatile because they can store many kinds of items. This differs from the larger stockpiles that allow only a single item. Place one small chest. And it's in number five. Okay, objective completed. And it wants us now to make a small stockpile for lumber. Saw that already. These are all the tutorial stuff, but it unlocks, once you do one thing, it unlocks another thing. And then there's, you'll see here coming shortly, let's put this down, boom. Now you'll need to craft a mallet to construct a large support, so craft a mallet. Can we do that? Oops. See, I gotta change my, I gotta change my dang mouse. We can do it on us, so we'll do that in our own personal inventory. Uh, I'm gonna eat right quick, right? Yep. And try to get. Let's take that. Cool. We're like over full, which is good. Not, you know, it gives us a little better. I don't know. Vitality. Vitality. All right. So press G to open the general search screen and add the support block to your toolbar. So this is where you uh, get some building blocks and stuff. So there'll be a lot more of these as we go. These are all that's unlocked right now. So the wooden supports. So we drag it down here. And three, now we can, wants us to build it, right? Wants us to place it, let's see. Visit the quest log for more detailed instructions. Place it, so we wanna bring it here. So these are, these are like foundations and you can move it up and down. There's another way to up and down it, but you can rotate. Uh, and I think if you hit O, it locks it to the grid. I'm not sure. One or the other. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so, Let's just, uh, let's just put it kind of low. There we go. Now it wants us to use the mallet to build it, which is cool. Look at it. Left click to build. And you can see it's taking the timbers out of our inventory as well as sticks. And that's 100%. Quest complete. Tutorial complete. Open the research screen to unlock additional blocks. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take this out because we're not going to unlock much stuff. Right now, we're going to just start picking this stuff up because we're going to find a place that we want to start to live first. Somewhere we want to build a house. Um, one of the... Oops. I'll show you the knowledge, though. Push K for knowledge here. And you can also get to the other things from here as well. The uh, Where the search is, where the blocks are. This is the overview of the houses in the world, which... There's a barbarian house and then our house. Uh, brighter tomorrow. This is an active quest. I just wanted us to open this up. So, uh, oh, it wants us to pick a research, which I'm not going to do yet. But here's all the researches. And I'm not going to do it because it's going to show up here, which I don't know if we can. I think we can turn it on and off. But uh, so if civil engineering, these are the ones we can do now. These are unavailable because they don't they, they start to unlock as you do other things, other ones. So do that and then we'll go back. Economic engineering. Some of them have the same thing like ore refinery and then taking ownership of your area. And basic housing starts you how to build. And then military engineering. Well we make some palisades, we get into metalworking and path of war, crafting your first weapon and such. Metal tools, all this stuff unlocks as you as you do these. So, civil engineering, basic wooden house. OK, 
Okay, blueprint building. That's one thing. Okay. Very cool. Because blu blueprint building's kind of new to me, so we'll figure that one out as we go. Sweet. So we got everything open. I want to I wanna grab this. Uh, we need to... Oh, crap. You know what? Let me put this crafting table back down. Oops. Keep hitting the wrong button because i got to switch my mouse. So let's get a... Oops. No. No, 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 no. We already got one crafted. We don't want to craft it. We want to do this. Put it number three. Oops. I hate, I forget that it selects it automatically. <laughs> Alright, let's put this down again. Oops, that's not really how I wanted to do it. But it'll work. It didn't snap to the ground, it kind of dropped it. What can I make? Can I make a pickaxe of any sort? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so I think we need to make a shovel. And I think we make that, there we go again, on our person. No. Hold on now. So we can't even make a shovel. Alright. Hold on a second. One. Is this gonna give us any of this ore? Let's hope. It's not looking like it. Okay. Well, I tell you what, let's find a Oops, get out of there. Let's find a place to live. <laughs> I wanna live near some stone like that, like a mountainous thing. Uh, it's already getting nighttime, right? Should have paid attention where that sun was. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll grab some of this stuff on the way. It's food, baby. Herbs. We see flax, especially. Flax is going to be important. We need to get growing that, so we need it to make seeds. Wheat is as one as well. Like this right here is just still growing. Yep. This one's still growing. Oh, it sucks that the sun's going down. I think I might try to sleep through the night. And then here's some good wheat. There we go. And then we can make bread and stuff out of that. Oh, yeah. This is kind of nice, isn't it? Where was the road? Uh, let's do this. Get in there. What? Oh, there we are. Where are we? So, this is the mountains. Road's over there. That gets us a little further away from the road, which isn't too bad. Now, I don't know if I like it, though, because it's not enough wood. <laughs> We're going to need wood, and I don't want to have to travel far to get wood. So, yeah, there's trees and stuff here. And if you replant them, it'll take a while. It'll take a while for them to grow again. Yeah, it's not going to work for me, I don't think. Let's run this way and see if we find anything else. Okay, so I fast traveled up here. I wanted to see what we had here. We have some mountainous stuff over here, but it's super dark. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do, let's see. Let's see how this works. Uh, that's kind of like our claim, I think, if we put, put this down. Uh, no, I want number four. I want the bed. Let's see if we can sleep and bring the morning to us. Come on. I don't know why this isn't working. Pretty sure I have that in there, otherwise why would it let me sleep? <laughs> why would it let me lay down? I don't know if you heal if you lay down or what, but uh, there we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. Sweet. All right, so I got my mouse changed, too, so now I can get back to the way I was used to. So there are some rocks over there and there. I don't know if this is what I want, though. Ah, this is tough, guys. There's no, there's not enough forest and stuff around here. So this is not going to be good for me. Where are we? Where did I do us, put us exactly? Oh, I brought us up here. Ah, I probably should have just stayed where we spawned. Really wasn't that bad. It's a big world. Let's do something over here. Let's let's look at this area right here. That's a big mountain, I think. Uh, let's see. Let's fast travel. Let's just do it to the road here so we can see. Cost one food. We have 96. God, is it nighttime up here? 
How much time does pass, man? How much time passes? Let's grab that. Darn it. Oh, we may have to sleep again. <laughs> uh, it takes a minute for the... There we go. For everything to generate. Uh, wow. Pretty cool. Where's the road? Just the road right here. Okay. All right, let me put my bed down. Let's try to sleep again. Try to get to daytime again. Oh yeah, look at the look at the sky moving. I see it. The stars and stuff are moving. It's kind of hard to see, but now you see it getting red bright at the top. Oh, that's awesome! So it just advances it. Very nice. Let's pick this bed back up. All right, so we got to find somewhere to start. I kind of like this already. Oh man, is this tin? Is this an ore? No, let's put, you know what, let's put this torch away. There we go. Oh, that's awesome. I like how this road is. Trying to think of possibilities of building, guys. Oh, look how this looks. It'd be kind of cool to build a house right up in here. And we actually kind of want to maybe think about building a kingdom, you know? So we got to kind of think about that, too. Oh, my goodness. Kind of like this. Some woods over here. I guess I'm thinking there's enough wood here. Let's just run up the road here and kind of see what it looks like as we get to the hill. It would be nice to have flat, flatter ground, but uh, eh, not totally necessary. I prefer it, um, especially for the farming. It was a little bit harder. Uh, plus, we're gonna have to be able to find some ores here. I hope we'll find some ores. Let's just kind of look up here. Oh, this is a it's a pretty cool view. Gotta say, this is pretty far up here, further than I'd want to go, I think. But maybe, maybe not. I gather things as we go here. Um, yeah, oh, oh, perfect, we got some, got some copper here, I'm not gonna pick the, I'm gonna leave that so that herbs will keep going, got some copper here, and then we can get some stone here too, it looks like, just kind of digging a hole there, oh man, is this a bad idea right here, is this a nice enough view, <laughs> oh, it's a heck of a hill, though. Hmm. I don't want to be way down there in the prairie lands, though. I like, I like some trees. Some green. Just kind of walk a little bit this way. Oh, here's some more. Is this tin? Oh, this is perfect, guys. We have some tin here. We have some copper here. Just gonna... I don't know if can I mark this on the map? Let me see here. Can you place a marker here? What is this? Uh, cycle through areas of ongoing combat. Let me place. Oops. Let's do this. Nope. Right click doesn't do it. Nope. I don't want to fast travel to where I'm at. Ah. Uh, crap. Well. Hmm. Let's, let's eat some food. It's going to be here, just uh, exactly where, I don't know. Alright, so we are going to have to pick, pick something to learn, and uh, eventually we can get our little shovel and start digging that stuff out, because I think it will, it will be part of one of the quest lines to do. Look, there's a deer right there. Need a crossbow. Hmm. I like it, but it's hilly. Oh, there's more deer. Look at that. Two more deer. Oh, we gotta get we gotta get to get stuff going here. It's too hilly though. What do I do, guys? What do I do? I do love the look of this right here. Right back in here. 
off the road. A little bit on the hill. It's too hilly. Heck gone it. It's gonna be a house on stilts. Alright, well, we're just gonna do it. We're just gonna do it. We have some stairs to climb, but big deal, right? We got some tin there. We don't wanna be too close to that. Uh darn it. Oh, I wish this hill was just mm. I'm sorry I'm com conflicted here. Alright, we're doing it right in here. It's gonna be some weird farmland, I think. But let's do it. So let's go to K. Sorry guys, it took so long for me to decide, but I don't know. I just I just felt like I don't know. So uh basic wooden house would be a good one to start with. So we've already obtained everything we need right there, so that's good. But it see, so we need it takes a lot of wood to build a house, start by gathering supplies. We need 30 planks, that's what we need. So let's put our oops. Put our workbench down somewhere here. Uh huh. There looks good. And this we need planks. Planks take timbers. And how many am I getting? 20 there. Okay, so that's gonna be plenty. Probably gonna need more timbers. We're gonna need a lot more planks, so I'm just gonna keep making some of them. Alright, so that's gonna be enough for us to get this going. So now it wants us, uh, uh, this is the moment you've been waiting for. It's time to begin construction of your house. Try to construct some wooden stairs where you want the entrance to your house to be. This will make it easier to get in and out of during construction. Alright, so we'll place those wooden stairs, but we're gonna probably tear them up until we get a foundation figured out. Mm. I'm thinking maybe right here. So, we're going to follow it how it says to do, because I know we could put a foundation down if we want, probably first, but... So if I step back this way a little bit, yeah, right in here. I like the look. I like the view here. I don't know which way that sun's going, to be honest with you. Let's see. So that's east. That's where it rises and sets back here. We might have a short day. Oh, no. No. <laughs> uh, well, we can sleep. We can sleep. I just don't want to be looking around too much longer. We need to get something going, huh? Let's do it. Let's do it right here. We can always move, right? We can always start another one. Um, so, place wooden stairs. So, we need to go... Uh, was it G? G gets us there. There's our stairs now available. I'm also going to grab the... Uh, the foundations. But we got to start with the stairs just to, get, just to follow it. Now, I'm just going to place them. And we're going to build them, and then we're going to break them down. Because we want to use the foundations. Oh, that was a uh, bad. Pushed along. Pushed right instead of left. <laughs> Number two for our mallet. Left click to build. Sweet. All right, so now it wants us to place four supports. So let's take this out. Now is the part we have to figure out where we want and what. Alright, so it is snapping to a grid right now, right? No? If I hit O, does it snap to any grid? Okay. It doesn't snap to a world grid, but it's gonna it's gonna create a grid, I think, is what happens. So why? Why is the white border right there? That's something I don't understand. Is that, oh, is that the edge of the, oh, okay. I think that's the edge of the uh, grid on the map. So that doesn't really matter. All right, so, hmm. So if we start here, 
go up a little. Basically, we want to know where the back of our house is going to be, where we're going to start this. Let's do it right there. What the heck? Okay, here we go. All right, so we're snapping to grid. I want to push... Oh, there we go. So see, now it's not snapping to that. So if we want to build another house that isn't the same on the same grid and like adjacent or you know, perfectly perpendicular to it, we can do it. It's kind of cool. Push O, that's going to snap us to it, and it wants us to take four, four of these. Okay. So we placed four. Let's build them. Oh, I can't wait to get better tools, too. This will go so much faster. Oh, there we go. You gotta be looking at it and gotta get that menu up or it's gonna do some weird stuff like swing like that. <laughs> oh. Alright, so it takes like five hits. Oh, that. Yeah. And you gotta have, obviously, you gotta have the materials to finish it. Alright, now it wants us to add some flooring. Okay, this is not bad. I just don't know. We may have... We might do like a little two-tier house. I don't know if we can do that, though. I have to see. You know what I mean? So, like, right here, it'll kind of step up just a little, though. You know, not... Ah, uh, let's see. I don't know. Right now, it's snapping. Um... I don't know if we can bring it up. Now there used to be a way to raise that up, but I think it raises it up a full grid. Ah, eh, we may not be able to. But here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna make this our back door kind of deal. So it's right level with the ground. Let's do that. Let's build these real quick. And then we'll build the, uh, the flooring like it asks. I don't know how big I wanna build this place too. It doesn't have to be a big house, because I think what we'll do, like, for our workstations and stuff, we'll build proper... Okay, it sounded a little weird. We'll, we will build proper, um... Like, the smithy will have his own area, that type of thing, but can't be too far away, right? <laughs> I mean, we could, we could always have our own... It can't be too far away. It's, it's just going to be its own little area, though, you know what I mean? Instead of in our house. Might be connected to it. I don't know. I'll have to see. We just have to. We're gonna we're gonna fly by the seat of our pants. Um, flooring. So G. Floors. Now, this these right here are variety floors. These are the um, one of the mods. Same with that, and same with these, I believe. So they are not gonna probably attribute to this. But there are cool different varieties in those floors. And I'll show you that. Um, so if we're coming in uh, straight this way, you want we want our floors to be the the wood slats facing left and right or this way. I don't know what's proper. Does it doesn't even matter? Let's just do that. So it wants us to do four of those, and then build them. Next three hits for those, and we're missing something, right? No? Oh, okay. I, I, I kind of... It says requirements, and then it says inventory player 42 on the planks, and then it says missing six. Six under it, so I don't... I don't understand that. <laughs> Why it says that. Okay, log walls unlocked now. So now it wants us to place log walls. Which I may not continue to use on this place because I don't I don't like the log walls as much as I like the plank walls. So let's see. But we will place them. Place them and build them. Um so it says equip. 
the wall available in general research. Uh, turn on compound building mode to place walls on top of the floors. Press J for more information. You want to place walls on top of floors. This will require compound building mode to be turned on so that the walls and floors can share the same space. Go ahead and try building a few. Make sure you don't block access to your stairs. Okay. So, the compound building, let's go ahead and look here. Let's go to options and bindings and building. Compound, compound mode Z. Uh, compound mode Z and let's see. Toggle compound building on or off. Hold to quickly switch compound mode to the opposite of the current setting. So that's kind of holding left shift. Hmm. Z turns it on and off. Okay, right? That's all, that's all it does. Okay. So, let's see. We need the wall. Seven. And I think it's on. I don't know. This is strange. Why did it... Okay, so this is Z. 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 I don't understand why it just moved it. <laughs> It's still occupying the space of this one. But if I hit Z there... I don't know, that's kind of strange. Anyway, let's build it. I think it's working. Yeah, it allows you to... Because see, a lot of games, if you put that block there, that the uh, floor block, it takes up this whole square area and it doesn't allow you to build there. Um, this one is allowing it. See, now it's skipping the one I was trying to put it on, though. Okay, now it's red. It's not showing that it won't build it on that. Oh no, that's the that's this one. That's why. But it will allow it there. So I don't I don't under, quite understand. But I know what it does. But it doesn't seem to work correct. I guess. All right. So we place two. Let's build the two. Enough waffling about that, huh? Okay. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to keep these walls, though. They're not bad looking. But I like the plank walls. But we got to get there first. All right, stop it. Stop it. There we go. Look at it. Get the words. <laughs> and then build. Knowledge gain. So we pretty much now go to K for knowledge. We have done... The where is it completed? The basic wooden house. So now it's probably unlocked a lot. Let's look here in G. Yeah, all the log walls, the log wall tops, uh, the roof, thatch roof. Okay, thatch roofing, log pillars, which are pretty cool. Okay, so now we can unlock another thing if we want. But let's first, uh, let's put, let's look at something here real quick first. Let's go G. Let's look at these floorings first. I kind of want to see. All right, so they're supposed to be, all right, there you go. So these are a variety of different kinds. So if I scroll with my mouse wheel on these, you can see that's a different floor. Um, it's a wood floor 12. I'm trying to see the pattern, but it's hard to see. There we go. You see it a little better there. That's cool. See? Look at these different wood floors. Cool little patterns. That's why I wanted the mods. We had a lot more choices. Very nice. Twelve choices. What's this one? That one's more rough looking. Rugged. These are a little more polished looking. Let's, let's, let's just look at this one. Two. So the... Oh, yeah. That's not what I want. <laughs> but it's cool looking. Look at that. I'll just get rid of that. Wait. Right? Wow. It took a while to get rid of it, though. Oh, no. Okay. I think it just wasn't updating. It was getting rid of this. <laughs> and that's not what I wanted to. Okay. I think it visually didn't update. Let's go back to six. Let's, uh, you know what? For this house, let's just stick with the, let's go to G 
and stick with the standard one since we already have a couple down. Let's do that. And it looks like it's going the same direction. We want the same there. Number two for a mallet. Beautiful. Oh. Gotta keep hitting it. So we want, want this to be a you know fairly good size. It can't, you know, this is too small right now. There's no way. I mean, I want to put a little kitchen and stuff in here. So we're gonna have to put some more flooring and stuff down, for sure. See the number six. So we could build all this like this and then come in and smack it in with the mallet. Now we're going to have to put some stairs up too. But I kind of want to figure out how I want to build the entrance. Let me hop up here. Ooh, here we go. Oh, there goes that mallet, so we gotta make another one of them. See, a bunch of other things open up. Look at this roll of thatch. Uh, huh? What else? Yeah, okay. Campfire. You know what? I'm gonna start building that since, since I can. Because we're gonna need to make some other foods here eventually. Okay, we're good. I'm not hungry enough to eat anymore. <laughs> Alright, so. Now I gotta decide, do I wanna just go this way some more? I think so. Let's get rid of this tree, we'll get us some more wood out of it. Back off a little. Oh. And I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this stump. I don't know if the trees grow back. If you guys know, let me know in the comments, that'd be awesome. Grab this as we go. Sweet, I should put our log storage down since we made it, right? Oh god, stop rolling, please. It's pushing me. I gotta be careful because I had it where it kills you, you know? Stuff like that can kill you. Unexpectedly. Tree just rolling on you. <laughs> All right, so we're looking good, though. But I do want to... I think we're going to go this way. So I'm just going to lay out some more flooring. And... Yeah, we're going to have to put... Soon put another one in the ground under these. Oh, yeah. Don't forget, we got structural integrity to deal with, so... That stuff is going to need to be there. <laughs> right. I'm not gonna pound them in because I kind of want to look at what we what we got. Get up there. There we go. Um. Ish. I don't want to go that far. How are we gonna enter? <laughs> Stairs are gonna be super long over here if I put them in the front. But that's the way I definitely want to be facing. I don't want to face that way or that way. That'd be kind of weird. I mean, we could, hmm, could do something like, hold on, let's see, how about this, put this here, and a stairs here, maybe double like this, ooh, and stairs here, let's just kind of see what this looks like, uh, rotate, So we're coming up. Oh man. See, we had to put two stairs here. Okay. Come up. Let's get that out of our face a minute. So this is still kind of the entrance facing out. I think what we might do here is something a little bit different. Let's see.
kind of want it. Mm. I don't know what I want, guys. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and build these. I think we're good with these. Oh. He's warning us that we had already built it. Oh, I don't need to hit it again. That's warning us we don't have enough timber, right? Some timbers are missing? See, missing three timbers. Yep. Got planks. We need. Oh, oh, dang it. Keep trying to hit. Hit the uh, IA to get back out of there, but it searches. It's so silly. Because here I can hit F, and then it searches again. So, but yeah, that's interesting. Okay. Can't hit F to get out of there. Alright, so we have some more. These are timbers, right? Oh, those are planks. Wait. Thanks. Alright, so let's get some more timbers. Planks. Can't make planks without timbers, so... We don't need the planks right this minute. Uh, I'm thinking, let's do... Oops, that was the wrong one. We wanted to do K. Ah, not search with K. Here we go. Knowledge. Let's do a better house, which is going... to give us the timber, or the, uh... Link walls, I think is what it's called. Start by gathering some components. And we need to obtain two timber. Oh, these are all in here. There we go. Place two blocks from this list. Plank wall, plank wall with window, plank wall with shutters. And then build those blocks. Okay. Let's smack this bad boy into place. I'm going to take these log ones out. They're cool, but I don't know. I like these plank ones better. So let's go to G. Did they? No, we am going to go up here. Large box. Okay. Uh, plank wall. Plank walls and windows. Let's pull that down. That's a log wall. All right, so it's going to unlock some more stuff like the door. After we build these, though. And let's see what this does when we hit Z for compound. So, it puts it... I mean, I don't know. Is this saying... That I could put that there. And if I hit compound... No, that doesn't make a difference. I don't know. I don't honestly don't know. So, right here, we're going to do the window one. Um, with shutters. Right? Do those open in or out? Out. Okay. About right. I'm going to take this one out of here. It's in a bad spot. And let's build this sucker. And I'm probably screwing up because I need to build it out here. I think we're going to have our door here. Yeah, I'm still thinking about all this, guys. Sorry. Seven. Let's just put a wall back here. Why not? Bam. Let's build it. And now we have learned some of this. Some of a better house. Now I want small stairs unlocked. Uh, building higher can seem a challenge, but... Placing some stairs and wall walks at scaffolding makes it easier. Uh, start with some small stairs on an outside wall, and don't forget to leave room near the top of the stairs for wall walk. So let's build some stairs. G. Small stairs. They're kind of like they're narrow stairs, and if you scroll, we have... A left and a right, so like if I wanted it there, I did that, it's gonna go the other way. Sweet. So I'm gonna put them put it right there. And we need to build it. So let's do that. Yeah. 
Hope you guys don't mind going through all this tutorial stuff. It's a good learning thing. And now it wants us to do a wall walk. So, G. Wall walk. And we want to put this sucker. Line it up like that. And build it. Sweet. Now it wants a wooden roof and build a wooden roof. Alright, so I'm. I'm probably I'm gonna knock it out because we're not really ready for wooden roof, but so this is kind of a cool idea how it shows you this. Uh, so you can put that in your house, or you can put those big stairs like that in there, you know. Um, roof, wooden roof. Ito. Oh, oh, back. There we go. Bam. Two to build it. Put my squawk up here. Make it easier on us. So it's kind of showing us that you could use these for scaffolding to get up higher places too. So it's kind of nice. All right. What do I got for salads? Let's eat. There we go. So I'm going to break this out. Come on. And these as well. So, let's build these, let's knock these into place. So, we're definitely gonna come. How am I gonna do this? How do I wanna do this? Something to think about. <laughs> I'm worried about getting barbarians coming now that we built something. And I don't have a weapon, so we gotta kinda look into that. Uh oops. So we're gonna come up here. Maybe make this kind of a deck area. I'm thinking. So we kind of enter this way? Or do we come up here and enter? It's going to be a weird entrance, guys. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Just building it on a big, steep slope. That's okay. It might look a little weird. Enter from the side instead of the front, but it'll still be front facing, if you know what I mean. Still come in from the front like this. So I think we'll come in here. This will be kind of like a, a deck, and then a door here or here. I'm thinking right here, actually. That out of the face. So I'm thinking right here. Oops. And I kind of want to get some walls up. Because <laughs> if we do get a barbarian, I need to, I need to figure out some uh, weaponry. I need to make a club. So therein lies a the problem there. Can I make a shovel yet? No. All right. We need to get. We need to build. We need to do something else in knowledge. Um, ah. God, I hate that. I tried to hit K for knowledge and it searches. Uh, economic engineering. There we go. If I do this ore refining, it unlocks a shovel. Which we need to start. Then we can start getting some ores and as well. So let's start with that. Craft a wooden shovel. You needed to gather some ore. Wooden shovels can be crafted in your inventory or a crafting table. So, wooden shovel. Sweet. Now available. One wooden shovel. Let's take that. Let's put it right here. I'm going to dig this just a little here. Oh. Oh. 
There we go. Ah, see, it kind of sucks being right up against the warrior, especially going up to that. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> All right, so you need some clay and small stones to craft a furnace. Clay can be found underground almost everywhere, especially where grass is. Okay. So I'm thinking... Let's go up here. I gotta find... Remember that copper we saw? I don't know. I wanna find that area. Here we go. I kinda wanna dig around here. Because we can actually, we can dig a little copper out of here too, I think. Oh, what? I thought we could. We used to. Did we get it? Uh, oh, we got, oh man, we got, we got a bit of copper already. That's okay. It's probably not going to be enough for us, but, uh, so we could kind of start, let's just kind of start, man. Yeah, let's just do it here. We need clay. Let's get a bunch of clay. Just gonna kind of dig into the hill here. I think we'll get it. See, we're getting dirt right now. Clay looks a little bit different. And while we have a shovel, we can't use our can't use our torch because it's too shovel is two handed. That should be clay right there, right? Right here, it's clay, I think. Huh. Well, I keep hearing... It's gotta be our footsteps. I keep hearing it and it freaks me out. Alright, so... I'm not seeing clay yet. <laughs> I'm just seeing it pop up. But that is dirt above us, see? So, oh man. Uh, let's dig just a little bit further down here. Huh. Stop it. Is that that gray stuff right there should be clay? Problem is, maybe not. There we go. Yeah, now we're getting clay. Beautiful. Am I digging down? Dag on it. Didn't want to dig down. I want to. It's so hard to know how if you're level. <laughs> Here we go. Wow, it's digging kind of a square if you go straight north. It's awesome. I like it. All right, let's get a bunch of clay. We need 20 for this quest. I'm going to try to go up above here. Oh, man, now we don't, we're not hitting clay anymore, are we? Yeah, some, but it's mostly dirt. Wow, clay's tough. If I dig down... This gray stuff is clay. So I can dig down some. Oh. Stop the swinging. <laughs> there we go. Clay. There we go. That's what I want. Look at the gray clay. I didn't want to get in too deep here because it's getting dark. All right, so now we need to get some small stone as well. See, it's back to dirt, isn't it? Okay, I want to fill that in up there. Because now it's... Let's see if we can. Oh! Ah! Uh -huh. I, I didn't want it to make a huge mound. This part's hard to do. It's hard to get it to fill nice, fill in nicely. Put it right. Oh, maybe. Let me. What's that? There we go. I'm trying to read, but it said something about putting it on the ceiling. <laughs> All right. There, now it's not a big gaping hole up there, and you can't, that's part of it. See, I can't fill here because I cannot deposit material on the ceiling because it's above me. I get it. Kind of makes sense. 
Alright, it's getting late already. Alright, so the sun... Alright, it's setting... Yeah, it's gonna... It's, we're not getting as much sun as I'd like, but that's okay. Alright, so we got, we need small stones. So let's walk around. Can I make a club yet? Hold on. Let's go get our crafting table and bring it up to the house. And I really should build some walls. So we don't get barbarians breaking in. Get these walls up that they can't get in. And a door or something that we can get out. Um... Let's put our crafting table down here. As well as our bed. And a chest. All the stuff it taught us to do at the beginning. Ooh, okay. Campfire couldn't hurt to put down. Chest there. Put this down to storage as well. And where is our bed? There it is, no? Did we, yeah, I was going to say, did we not pick our bed up? That would suck. Seven. Just gonna lay it right here for now. And our crafting table number four. Let's put it right. Yeah, right there. Now let me see. Can I make a club in here? Yet, oh, we got stockpile for stone or logs and lumber. Which one do I have? Lumber. Let's go ahead and make one for logs. I am not seeing a club yet, which kind of sucks. All right, let's get the stone that we need. I'll try to find. There you go. There's a stone. We need how many? Ten. We need to find the small stone piles. Uh, if you hit L, it'll bring your torch out to your toolbar for you. It's kind of nice. Uh, where's my stones? Okay, that took a little bit to find stones. It was kind of crazy. Oh. I think you find them more in like areas like this, and I kind of went over there in this grassy area. It's kind of harder to find them there, I think. Not that you can't see them, it's just that they're just not there. But anyway, uh, it wants us to craft a furnace. So, uh, furnace. One furnace coming up. Uh, I'm going to take... Uh, so, yeah, let's place this chest, which is number five. I like to chase. I like to place it at the foot of the bed. Oh, and you know what? Speaking of, we need to clean this bed. There we go. And then I want to place stockpile for lumber. Hmm. Thinking over here, and we should have the stockpile for. Small stockpile for logs. Beautiful. So we'll put that one right next to it. Okay, that's just for now. We'll probably move. Oh, this is beautiful. I do like the view. You know, it's kind of a, you know, it's not forestry or whatever, but it's cool. I dig it. Alrighty. Um, campfire. Let's put that sucker down. And then we'll get our furnace. Uh, the campfire, I don't want it inside. Just don't. What can we make in here? So we can make hodgepodge. Let's make a bunch of hodgepodge. Because that's better than... Better than the salad. And we need... Let's throw some logs in there, I guess. And get it working. Let's throw one more log in there. Should be able to get it all crafted up. Sweet! Roast some meat in there if we ever get stuff to do it. Alright, so we have um, a furnace. Let's take that furnace. 
Put it in our hot bar. That is so weird. I noticed that. How it goes below. Is that... No, I was going to say, is that from the compound building? But I'm hitting Z and it's not changing it. It needs to come up. See how it's... I don't know if you can see. All right, so see when I put it on here? You can see the base of it. But it come here and it drops it into the ground. I mean, like, way down. Why is that? What do I do? Left shift? No? Uh, Z for compound? No. Up on? No. Hmm. Let's take a look. Oops, that's not really what I wanted to do. Uh, let's take a look at the bindings. Is there a way to lift it up on um, building? Vertical. Vertical plus vertical minus. Rotate the block. We don't want to rotate it. Next variant. Use variant. Move block closer, farther. Is there something to move it up? Toggle grid snapping. Compound mode is Z. And then left shift. Toggles it on. Quick. Um, add to toolbar. Structural integrity view. And create blueprint. Anything in general about it? I don't think so. Cut and copy? What are we what can you cut and copy? Hmm. Okay. So I was looking to see if there was something to lift it up. I don't know. Hold on a minute. Uh, number six. the rotation but didn't it say something about hold on a minute Q and E controls no bindings building vertical we have multiple control bindings using the same assigned key okay hold on a minute character roll right roll left building vertical plus Left click to edit binding. These bindings are jacked up. What's going on? That's why they're red. Hold on a minute. All right, this might mess me up, but okay, defaults are the same. Hmm. Character roll right, spectator roll right, building vertical plus. I see. They're for different, for characters, spectators, and for building modes. Actions, left click to edit the binding, right click to clear it. Vertical plus. Vertical minus. That's rolling it, rotating. Okay. All right. That's confused me, though. Um... Isn't there, I thought there was a way... To bring that sucker up or down. There probably is. If you guys do know, let me know. Please. There used to be. No, there was. I just don't know what it is now. I don't know. Anyway, so this thing's going to set down into the... It's kind of strange. I don't like it. <laughs> oh, I was already down there. Um, oh, God. Here he is. What am I going to do? I got to just run away from this guy, I think. We got our first barbarian, and I have no weapon. Can I swing this at? That at this... Uh... Can I... Stop it. No! No, I'm not. No, I'm stuck. Get out of there. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do, but I can't. I can't do anything. I don't have a weapon. Give me this back. No, what the heck? 
Stop it. He's gonna kill me. Dude, how do I kill this guy? Um... Okay, in my toolbar. We, go. we want zero. I'm gonna have to try to punch him. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this, because he's gonna hit me. Oh! Oh! You... Why can't I punch? Zero! Holy crap! Yeah, I'm gonna die. We're gonna die. Let's get over here where... Get my stuff back, probably. Maybe, if this guy's... Hey, he's leaving us alone for a second. We need to build a club! No, he's coming. Let's just keep running up here and see what happens. Daggone it! I know, I'm hurt. I know. Eat something to try to heal a little. Alright, I don't know where he is, if he's still following me or not. Dude, where can I why can't they build a club? Can I I can't swing I can't swing that. Can we we can't even punch? What's going on with that? How do we fight? I hit zero, so I've got hands free. Hold on a minute. Eight. Eight. I thought we could at least punch. It's not looking that way. Where'd this guy go? Probably hanging out by my house. Alright, let's go down this way. <laughs> it's gonna get super dark on me real quick. Oh, is that him? I, I think that was him right there. Yep. And he's coming for me. Come over this way, punk. Cool thing is at nighttime, they you, you'll see them because of their torch will show. Until they notice you. Once they notice you, they start torch away and get their weapon out. I have to figure out... How do I make a club? Look at him. He's still tracking me. Come over here. Rumors say there's copper nearby. Okay. Does that show up a lot? Or is that just from the... Because of the quest? I need this guy over here. And I need to circle around this way. And go back home. Ah, there's another one. Okay, I don't think he saw me yet. Let's see if I can get back home without this guy still on me. I gotta I gotta build a club somehow. I need to probably get some knowledge, huh? Let's get up here. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Uh knowledge. Uh military. Metalworking. Path of War. Uh, clubs are crafted from logs. Craft a club. Crafting bench. Club. Whew, at least we'll have something. Hurry. Uh... I think that means he's on me. I think that music. There he is up there. Holy crap. I need to build some walls, guys. Uh, let's get this club in our hand, anyway, or down here. I'm going to build another mallet because we're going to need it. Ah! Kind of panicking. Uh, gee, let's get some walls up. Bank walls, door, five. All right, here's where the compound building's gonna come in. Nope, there it is, okay. 
the wall there. Oh. There's where it changed. See, I went, it wanted to build it down below. And then I hit Z and it built it up top. Okay, let's get these in here. Uh, actually, those need to come here. Two. <laughs> I think we're going to be safe. Oh no, here he comes. Here he comes. Okay, uh... Four. Four with wall. Z. Boom. So he's gonna... Where's he going? Where's the door? Cool, he's hanging out down there for a minute. Oh, we can't... We don't have the stuff to build. Alright, uh, one. Can I get this guy from here? Probably not. Oof! Where are you coming? Where are you going? He's gonna go nuts, man. Until we do something about him. This is the hard. This is hard. Mm. Oh, you. Hmm. Hmm. All right, I gotta just stay away from him. Oh. Whew. I'm gonna just eat some berries, and then we are gonna check. Where'd he go? So he has a club. We can take it. He doesn't have a studded club, but let's take his inventory. Alright, we'll get some roots. And we always, it seems like we always get a torch and a skull. Which is okay. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to leave this episode here. Oh, I know it's been long. And these are going to probably be longer than my normal episodes. But, uh... Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it. We'll get this place built. We'll learn some more knowledge in the next one. And, uh, yeah. So, if you would, on your way out, be sure to whack that like button for me. Also, comment and share. That helps out a ton as well. And if you haven't yet, guys, be sure to subscribe. Also, be sure to hit the notification, so the notification bell so you'll be notified of all the new videos I upload. Once again, thank you so much. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will see you next time.